Resident Evil 4, a true classic. A title that defined an entire genre of games for the last two decades. So how does it work in VR? Do the developers truly transfer over the essence of the gameplay within the original, or does it fail to immerse players into the world of Resident Evil? With this quick video, I want to give my semi-professional opinion. As a VR developer, I feel that I can offer a greater perspective on this VR release, and give a proper recommendation for those who are still on the fence about purchasing the game. One more thing. This is not a sponsored video. I did this analysis because I love VR. I paid full price for the game, and this is my honest opinion of the final product. Jumping straight to the point, I recommend this game. As someone who grew up with the Resident Evil series, 4 being my very first game, I can say that the product that Armature has put forward is a true-to-form VR remake of the original. While they needed to add some affordances in order for the third-person classic to work within the new medium of VR, they do not negatively affect the overall gameplay experience. I would even go as far as to say that it is significantly better in VR. The only issues I have with this game were ones that I was well aware of while the product was still in development, and I have since accepted them as part of the overall experience. The game feels good. Movement is simple, and the user has a choice between thumbstick locomotion and a real-time form of teleportation. I chose to play with the default controls for the experience, as that is how the developers intended for the user to experience the game. I get motion sick rarely due to having spent over 5,000 hours in VR over the past four years, but I wish the developers had added more options for users to adjust certain parameters to increase comfort within the locomotion system. For example, I would have liked an option to increase the vignette around the edges of the VR camera to my specific preference, among other minor tweaks to better suit each individual user. Combat also offers two solutions for weapon and item management, an immersive mode with all your weapons placed in opportune locations on your chest, or a basic quick select menu. When it comes to movement in combat, you will quickly notice that you can now strafe when your weapons are drawn. This is disabled in the teleportation mode, but I find it necessary for the more intense combat sections. I would also like to highlight that you can hold both the knife and the gun at the same time, which differs from the original. I like that this game is taking advantage of the two-handed interaction opportunities that VR offers, but I understand that this is subjective depending on the player. I'm talking to you RE4 purists who enjoyed the original tank controls. The basic movement and interaction systems are good, but I need to mention how RE4 handles cutscenes and quicktime events. Every time there is a cutscene, the view is taken away from the player and we watch Leon's actions on a little screen in a dark room. Then, if it's a gameplay cutscene, we are dropped right back into gameplay. This can be incredibly jarring depending on the cutscene. I predicted this on my RE2 podcast a few months ago. Despite my opinions on that podcast, I understand that this is probably the best option that Armature had within the scope for the experience. But in my personal opinion, the best way to do a VR cutscene is to make a fully immersive one, not cut to a third person view. As for the quicktime events, just black out the screen for some of them. I don't need to see Leon front flip out of a window or push over a ladder. Just cut to black when I go out the window and fade me back in when I'm on the ground. The transition from first person to third person and back to first person is incredibly jarring and only makes sense for very specific use cases. I don't have any real problems with the combat quicktime events, however. They work and it's the best way to handle these interactions without a complete redesign of the original game systems. Armature has done an amazing job recreating this classic in an entirely new medium, and it is one of the most immersive VR games that I have played to date. You haven't enjoyed all that VR has to offer until you've played RE4, and with that, I implore you to go and play it. Thanks for watching my video. If you're up for it, check out some of my other videos or subscribe. I've got a lot to say, but I need an audience so I'm not just screaming into the void.